Paul as well, but always excited to see complexity. They are currently 2-0 in the group, Chad. So uh, let's see what they can make of that. Well, they're playing hide and seek right now, just keeping tucked over towards second mid in case any inquisitive CTs want to have a looky loot. One expert odds are heavily favoring the Danes here. Heroic. Maybe they can pick up a win today where Astralis couldn't. But all silent on the Western front as five members make their way quietly up through second middle. Yeah, with a silent boost as well. So uh, Shush could be in trouble here. Kadian to protect him, though. We'll see who comes out on top. It's a lovely shot from Grimm. Doesn't account for the second, though. And Shush, good for one, but uh, all he's good for. Massive advantage now. And uh, Complexity aren't wasting any time in the execution. They're making their way up towards middle as Tessez sneaks on towards the bombsite here. Tucks himself away, waiting for the first opportunity to get the kill. And it's a little bit scrappy, but he does find it. Well done from JT. Alleviates any of the final pressure that was coming through from this rotation. Now it is just down. He's the hero of this heroic squad, but uh, I don't think he has too many opportunities here. An extra smoke was scooped up on site from the corpse of Tessus. will deny the access. Testing the waters now over towards top mid. And the Kevlar and Julius are probably the best to hold on to here. He can drop the Julius to someone else in the next round, maybe get an upgrade going himself. But uh, Complexity, they'll stick the landing here. They absolutely will. So uh, that's not bad at all. Complexity will keep three players alive as well. Look at all the extra nades they still have that they didn't have to use as part of this strategy here. They still have a Molotov, two smokes, two flashes left over to carry forward. So that's uh, a good place to find yourself. Oh, wait. You know, I was I about to say, I thought you were trolling, out. Chad. No, uh, Go TV's time no, I, 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 oh, I, I wanted to jump in and save you. I thought you were trolling. So I was uh, like, oh, what's, he's got another joke here for us. Sorry, everybody. We didn't. We didn't uh, <laughs> it would have been a great point. Why is our Go TV dead? It's, it's happened a couple of times, and it has happened at the start of this game. It's nothing we can do about it. We'll just have to. Damn it. <laughs> Roll with the punches, I'm afraid. As uh, we'll see, Tess says, like I said, maybe if he gets a couple of clean ones here, there was a chance. The first one took him a few bullets. And uh, we will see JT close things out there. So a good start for the North Americans. Heroic will fight back, though, however. Oh. They've got a force buy. Oh, we have a bigger problem than just uh, Go TV here, Henry. Lost the We're going to need to get the entire IT department out here. Yeah. As uh, trundling down mid here on the force buy, the kills come in. Beautiful work for Tessus and Shush there. Lexi now on the absolute back foot. Certainly are. And uh, this round is melting in front of their very eyes. The bomb down, but uh, the CTs don't have to patrol. It's a very awkward angle to uh, hold on to, especially if you've got SMGs, Deagles. So uh, they'll take the four on to advantage and position elsewhere. So at the floppy now, making a lot of noise towards the quad side. And he's very aware of Stan's potential position as the dual Berettas. That'll at least maintain the advantage here. Three versus one. Grim to plant. Very awkward spot, though, but a very talented player can make something of this. There's the first headshot. Connects the second as well. Great effort. With the bomb going down as well. One versus one. Not the end of the world. Complexity is certainly not ideal uh, around they will want to forget. Yeah, I think the fact that it's just the disrespectful nature of getting stuck in like that and losing the round after that early mid exchange, that's the frustrating part of this. But the plant's good. It, forced by very likely here. We don't have all of our extra information uh, until we do resolve this Go TV issue. So we are flying a little bit blind here. That's a uh, great effort with those dual Berettas there. You can see Grim was up for it, but uh, surrounded towards the end. Tess is to close things out. We go 1-1. One, one. And with the bomb planted, it does yield a bit of extra cash, $800 per player. So we'll see the AK-47 for Grim, MAC-10s, pistols, otherwise. So uh, Heroic, right back in this early on. This is the pick of complexity as well, as Yabby will be jumping past second middle, just getting a bit of intel here. And uh, Adian certainly found some. That's a great shot towards the half wall. Stown, though, players all around him. He can hear them trying to do some residual damage there with the MP9. Good Molotov. JT won't be affected by it, but held in position. Now is burning to a crisp, down to 28 points of health. And we'll see what they can make of this now. Floppy and co with full mid control. Kadian with his second kill of the round. A fantastic setup here for the CTs. Running away with it. We are going to see just JT and Fang remain. And at this stage, just going to be discussing their options. Can they even make a dent here in the follow-up round? Still a minute on the clock. They have a flashbang available, but that is about it. So, this setup towards the arc side has been fantastic so far. Shush, just to shut them down there. And uh, that was the force buy back in from Complexity. So, uh, they are going to be a little bit more humble going forward. And uh, a very confident staff for Heroic after losing the pistol, Chad. Keep everyone updated. We do have the IT department live here fixing problems. So, uh, it's all happening. I'm loving it. This is uh, where the best happens. And it's going to be exciting to see. Oh, whoa. We got the internet fixed. We're back online. Look at this.
a plug and play. Now we just need to get Henry's going. We're, the, the double thumbs up from Graham Pitt. He's in the building. He's definitely not. Well, that's uh, why I'm in a good mood today. Oh, because Graham Pitt's here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're going to be taking a look here at a full economical round. They're on the bridge, uh, hanging out. And uh, let's just inspect the flowers here, maybe, if we can, Jay. Just take a look at them. Uh, what, what color? I guess this is a light pink on the flowers. Pink, pink and white? Pink and white. Sorry, I missed the conversation. My no, headset no, was off no. for a second. I was, I'm, I'm feeling because there's a full Glock Eco on a bridge. Okay, I'm so with you. I, you know, I just... Uh, this is the perfect time for it to happen. We're who actually would have thought it would have been as simple as turning it on and off again? Well, that's sometimes a trick. That's all it takes. So we, we could uh, maybe, well, actually, we didn't plug it in or out, so we didn't, we didn't do anything. We just called for help. Yeah, and the help came. So uh, I think <laughs> Complexity might be calling for some help now. We know what type of round this is. We haven't come up with a catchy name. It's uh, the long version is sit, wait, draw out all the CT utility and force them to expend that extra cash in the next round. But I, I need to work out how to condense that. Okay, all of our issues We're now online. resolved here. We are so back to the mix, and we will see the CTs just mowing them down here. MP9s are plenty, but a couple of Glock kills. Floppy, he manages to recover an AWP. They got the MP9. This is the kill right here. If he nails this one in CT spawn, they can have a full eco victory on the cards. Oh, what a flashbang. Flash. Yeah, that Gabby, shuts it down. Not overextending, waiting for his teammates. The team play is perfect, but JT, a menace on the orb, goes down to Shush. The bomb's being planted. A full clock eco has netted a lot of profit here. Doesn't matter how the round finishes, but Fang, he'd love to give it a crack here. A Glock in hand, bomb ticking away. No defuse kit on either Shush or Yabby right now. Need to get a move on. Fang's just lying in wait. Both have the head arm, the Glock steps out, and he'll be dealt the dud hand. The defuse comes through, the orb will be salvaged. But a sketchy round against Definitely. all Glocks. You don't see it very often in getting that tight, but uh, the double kill coming in from Floppy, very impressive. I, I'm sure it's down to timing. You can see Eddie <laughs> shaking his head. He can't believe it. It was actually no, trying to console him five here. Five on three to kick things off. You think, okay, well, fair enough. They'll get a kill back in response. But how does that happen? Double ding from Floppy. JT vaults up to find the orb kill as well. And uh, sure, it goes in favor of Heroic, but a frustrating Last few moments there. He's obviously been hard on himself there, Kadian, in that situation because he knows he was the catalyst to that round almost falling apart. Right. So the, the fact that Stown gets two, he doesn't get a single kill, he gives up the AWP. Uh, so frustrated with himself there. But still early stages. Very early stages, Chad. Three to one complexity. Looking to fight back, though. We have got Kadian investigating towards middle, and he might get more than he bargained for. Hauser absolutely wrecks him there with the AK-47. Shush will be boosted up, however. This is a nice swing around. Tessas will be blind. Doesn't quite keep it as clean as he would like. We're back to a two on two, and Shush still here. Fight Club top middle. Just all the bodies being thrown in towards this corridor. Two survive on either side. And Ruby, perfect timing from him. Will they expect the rotation to stand? He's already responded to this. He's going to be coming quick up the short side. They do have a smoke available. Likely to see Floppy deploy that again to replenish the smoke. Over towards Moto. But with all these nades, only towards the pit. Maybe a flash to facilitate. Stown does have options here. When does he want to give up his position? There's a kit just in front of him. There's all the pieces he needs here, Henry. Absolutely true. It all starts with the incendiary. He can confirm that that side of the pit is clear at least. HE towards the bomb side now. Trying to go down with a decent effort here in the two versus one, but just surrounded JT in a prime position. That's all about Floppy, though. Two massive kills there towards the apartment position. Volts out, manages to get the bomb down, and uh, there they are. They bounce right back, 3-2. Well, a uh, bad death for Kadian again, top middle. In no man's right. land with the AWP goes down to that proactive nature of Hauser coming up mid. So the two consecutive rounds here have put Heroic into what should be an interesting scenario. They can bring out the AWP once more. There's two M4s, make it three at a minimum. It's down wall upgrade into the famous so there's just enough to make this one work here but the emissions in the kit department may be a problem if complexity can get into the site again it's a three-man b lean yabby beats the flames does he want to go aggressive holes here he may actually be able to continue the push He's got ahead of the spam as well it might be a free kill for him yabby he'll uh, take down the danger man of the previous one that's going to be floppy so a great scalp to find and he's not done just yet he wants uh, a second bite of the cherry here chad Players beneath him, too, in fact. But uh, still an incredibly strong position. He can catch rotating tees from Banana and indeed middle. But uh, JT holding towards Banana. Looking for that smoke that lands in front of the bombsite, I think. Micah overlooked here completely, Yabby, because this is not what you'd expect after the opening kill. Dropping back should be name of the game. Bang rounds the corner. Look like he was aiming at the floor there, but the adjustment up to the head is nice. And now Heroic will spring to life. Yeah, confident, assertive frag there from Fang. Four and four always favors the terrorists, especially when there's still a minute on the clock. Lurk smoke out towards the apartments and Shush will be tested. He does not pass. Paul Zerk will be 
decimated him with his AK-47. He's looked so strong the last couple of rounds, and that's an open A bombsite. Four versus one. Stown has got nothing to do. He has to fall back. Yeah, this is a great round again from Complexity. I think really one of the nice. key details with this team, uh, with JT's leadership, they always have good utility usage. That's the one that gets the highest praise. But I also think building the fundamental base is another thing they've always worked on, right? The efficient trading and spacing and understanding of how they want to take a lot of these situations. And Complexity have been building at this for some time. This team is not looked at as necessarily the poster boys of North American CS. That is going to go to Liquid. Sure. But Complexity have some of the... They're not up-and-coming names anymore. This is about the time we need to see what they truly have. And I think Grim is the one who's had the most amount of shine with his short time there in Liquid. This team, he can have a, a couple more positions to get more out of him as an individual. Floppy and Fang, I, I think for those two individuals, solid riflers. JT always has some good ideas. And now Halzerk, the Norwegian, coming into the mix. It's uh, bringing them the necessary firepower on that AWP and can even do it on the rifle, as he's demonstrated here today. Mr. Happy himself, TC. Always got a smile on his face, apart from right now, of course, when I mentioned that. Always smiling otherwise, it seems. But, that is uh, true. Hopefully, uh, things get better for complexity. They're actually doing a very good job on the... Oh, completely buy-in behind the AWP here. So, a real... Heavy lean towards B at the start with four players. Nothing really to write home about other than these nades down Stown's nose and to find himself at 30 points of health here already. They're lingering around and will they snap this one shut? Molly segregates. They are going to have to drop back. Yabby's been sold down the river here. He's stuck on his lonesome towards Sandbag. Stown's very aware. They know where he is now. He's going to be rotating, hoping it funnels them back in towards A where he's repositioning. But uh, anything, but they'll continue their campaign towards this B bomb site. Katie in there with the smoke. You can see Stown in no man's land right now, trying to work out wherever he should be positioned. But I think the gamble stack towards A is the better port of call. Yeah, save the AWP, move on. I, and I think for Cole as well, even if you heard the AWP there early, you may as well continue towards B because you still have enough utility to do a full execute. You get the smokes yeah. down, the flashes can be potent. You have one Molotov in play. You can isolate the angles and in they go. Flashes are brilliant, Kadian locked out. And as you mentioned, it will have to be that save call. So they're all in. That's them absolutely nothing. Bomb has been planted. And another clean one. This is a really tidy stretch of four, uh, sorry, three rounds now. Well, complexity. The uh, fourth did come on the pistol. I think opening kills might be a, a focal point here, especially if Kadian keeps giving up a, a couple with the AWP. Yeah, he certainly has, hasn't he? But uh, you are dead on. Complexity don't give anything away there whatsoever. Uh, managed to get the banana control, detect the open the other side, made him to hell and back, and he has to retreat. And at that point, they continue with the encroachment towards the B bomb side, and it's actually a very nice finish. All five will survive. Uh, they've got AK-47s across the board, building up a nice reservoir of cash as well. Around $7,000 for two of the players. Everyone else hovering around 4K, but the AWP is saved on the CT side and the, the armor as well. So I have upgraded pistols and they should be able to buy into this one. Fortunately for them, you don't really need helmets against the AK-47s. Uh, could be a problem with the, the Glock is pulled out, of course, but uh, for now, can uh, invest their money wisely into utility and pres presumably some diffuse kits as well. But uh, they actually keep it pretty modest, Chad. This is a strange turn of events. They saved the orb, and it was, the previous round was a bit of an eco as well. They pushed just one more M4, and they've got the upgraded pistols already, so they're relying on those. They don't want to waste that investment, I suppose. Well, they're going aggressive with it at least, so Stan will take the fight and allow them to know, yeah, there, there's another purchase here, and if he can get away, this has actually worked out quite nicely. High telling it towards A that trundling very noisily through the apartments here. Kadian's in the right place, the right time with the AWP and cuts off the head of the snake. Grim's down and I, I, I can't believe the investment but what I can't believe more is the fact it's working. Yeah, the two players you need to actually start finding kills are the ones that invested in the weaponry and that's going to be exactly that. It's down and Kadian. Great job so far but Fang fighting back. A missed shot from Kadian now. A window of opportunity. Can they leap through it though? Shush. It maintains the man advantage. They've actually got a 4 1 2, but JT, this is sneaky. It's a nice shot. Oh, well. even better towards the pit. That's a showstopper. And we've got a 2 on 2. Out of nowhere. They lose the first two picks, but they are fighting back two for nail here. Grenade doesn't quite hit the mark, but it's the Desert Eagle of Tessas is still looking dangerous. How much can you see here? Toggle of the X ray, shows. Almost nothing as JT, sharp as your life. This push up short from Yabby though, there's still time for this. When's he gonna activate? Swings out, JT down, last man. Floppy on the side, you can't stop the flop. He's gonna get the second, Tessus. 
He goes down to one on two for Floppy here to get up to five rounds now. And JT, a captain's performance, You jab. love it. That is beautiful. I didn't think he had it in him. I didn't think for a second he was going to nail that second shot, but it was an absolute stunner. Kadian, at this point, five on three, you think the round's over. How do they get back into it? Well, I'll tell you how. It's JT with a monster shot like that towards the pin position, and it's not in vain at all. As you mentioned, Floppy, no stranger to converting those sort of rounds, and he looks comfy as you like. Five to three now. Money, thankfully, still available for Heroic, considering their decisions in the previous and, rounds. Yeah, yeah, you check if the account's checking their uh, bank history, doesn't know what's been going on. But uh, I, I think... Ooh, AT. AT, there's one close. It's over towards the logs. It's down. Shrouded by the smoke right now. He's heard the steps. JT doesn't know, but Heroic, they're aware of everything here. Tessas, he's unloaded the complete mag, yeah. and that might actually thrust JT JT's forward. already down, dead, he, isn't he? It's down. Gonna click. It, oh, oh, oh. No way. Okay, there you go. Okay. <laughs> got a little bit worrisome for a moment, didn't it? Didn't know it's down. Oh, it's gonna clear, clear, actually. I heard one, but he seems to have gone. But uh, here we go, Kadian. Like he said, he has given up a, a couple of opening kills, but uh, good damage there towards middle. Flashed off for now and exchanging the utility, allowing Josh to have the smoke towards pit if required, if he gets Molotovs off, of course. This is looking like a very strong setup. They do well to lose this one. Coming through for info. What a crazy play that was. Well, they get the <laughs> info and Tessas gets both kills through the smoke. That was a bit of a crazy play. This, they don't. They didn't want to be in the darkness, right? Because they were gamble stacking over towards this A site. So they wanted some info. Unfortunately, Tessas gets two, right? If he doesn't get two True. there and Shush goes down and they get nothing, then yeah, we have a problem. But now it should just be a save. Yeah, I think that's totally fair. It, it's a nice lead. Complexity have garnered for themselves, but they're picking up the pace. I think they might be exploring the options towards B. It's Grim and Floppy, two of the strongest fraggers on the team. And Floppy... Very, very good in these difficult clutch scenarios. Like, he can perform. And uh, yeah, the nice. grenade, unfortunately, that's going to do a load of damage as Grim will be dropped. And now Floppy's chances really are limited. But uh, Tessa should take care of him momentarily. Uh, I like the, the enthusiasm to give it a go. Shows they're up for it. But uh, ultimately, it's to their demise. It's going to be Heroic closing the gap now with four rounds on the board. There's Kadian pushing through the smoke, maybe showing a bit of frustration there, as Chad mentioned, trying to get the intel. But... Uh, Tess has made up for it, buckets and spades with the double kill through the smoke. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah, these info plays. Oh, wow, that could have been a TK, yeah. He did hit his teammate. Yeah, that's very fortunate. It didn't unfold in that fashion. But uh, the buys are back here. Four AK-47s and a scout. We are back underway. Some chip damage done down towards these stairs. Bang, and Halzerk softened up. Grim, well, he saw it as well. Tess has holding the... Antenna flash available. He's actually repositioned here. So th there's a, a bunch of different util sets you can throw from this position. I've actually taken a lot. He's, he's just moved so much. Tessas have been everywhere. And that's a dunk grenade. So huge damage done to this banana onslaught. And if they just wanted to execute towards B, they are going to have a tough go at things. Yeah, lovely made so far. Softens him up with the M4s. One dink potential now. And uh, this could be tagging over some utility as well. You'll see that a lot of Inferno. Just run over. Hand delivery and a uh, decent smoke as well to bite. Another 20 seconds here towards the B bomb site. Elsewhere, we are probing towards top of middle. Floppy, he'll be joined by Halzerk, who will be trying to at least show some sort of presence here towards middle. They've taken vision away from the arch side, and Floppy will be left there alone. So a bit of a lurk situation for him, but uh, not finding much else here. Smiley flubs the molly there. They Double smoke spawn, and they're actually getting out of here. So knowing that Heroic are highly reactive, Kano is secure that there is still one top mid, but unfortunately, Yabby's on the wrong side. 27 seconds. It has to be this A finish. They're going to be funneled up short here. Shush could get a massive spray down here unless they hit a banger. Repositioning towards the mini pit now. The fight is coming. This crossfire needs to lock it out. And if they can just dispel them, hold the wolf at the door, the rotation will be great. And they are doing exactly that. Kadian is going to get a whole boatload of frags right there. And we've tied things up 5-5. Yeah, you've got to be very brave to run up short like that when you know there's a crossfire enabled. If you've got no utility, no smokes to segregate one part of the bomb site, it will look exactly like that. He jump into the blender and Heroic are more than happy to oblige. As we tie things up 5-5, five, five, money started to drain. Welcome to crazy, right? But uh, that's the thing. With with complexity at a 3-0, Parler brought up this sentiment on the desk uh, where Maui and Blair were talking about it. With complexity, they don't feel safe. They don't feel like a lock-in for the players by any means. Definitely not. So yeah. This game, it holds a lot of weight. I think they know the importance of this matchup right here as well. If they can take down Astralis and Heroic as two of the scalps that they take and heats that third victory, uh, there's a chance for complexity.
But uh, I wish all the groups panned out like this in such a competitive nature because it shows that now every game is hugely important. It's no, we end up at 3-0 with a bunch of teams and we're expecting them to get through. But here's a flash. It's a fight. I like the smoke as well. The flash to push them back towards half ball. The smoke to disallow entry. You've uh, really pushed them back there. Good grenade potential from Kadian. Does he want to fling it in? A bit late now, I think. He's just going to have to say the fight. Look at Gadget Arms trying to grab that Deagle right there as she will follow and now back towards B. So they want Stown to have his stats padded. Let's see what he can make of it. All four players for complexity is going with the contact play. That's literally all they can do. They've got no grenades and uh, no real hope of this one. Another brutal crossfire. They're having to swing around, hopefully find a couple of shots towards the CTs, but nothing can be done. Uh, a difficult one to give away, but still, it was inevitable considering their buy. It's going to be number 12 here. Heroic taking the lead, but still a very competitive half here. Five rounds on their T side. Would be hunting for a couple more if possible, but uh, we'll see what round 12 has got in store for us. Still no open the CT side. Three AK-47s, though. Make it four. A lot of damage here. You'll see them getting a little bit more aggressive, perhaps, trying to get in favorable positions, and they send three players towards Bernardo to kick things off. Kadian looks like he's just going to throw a deep nade down, soften him up, and... Oh, he's actually hit the wall there. So not quite the execution he was looking for. $300 down the drain. Nice banana. Where they want to limp out this aggression. Stout was playing in front of that half wall there, but you can see it's smoked off, so there's no real info to be gained or gathered as... Top mid, three players about to pounce here from Cole. Kadian is tucked in. Gabby's actually going to reposition, so they won't be able to bait Kadian in here, at least from close. Maybe can jiggle peek here from this corner. And if Kadian does get mollied, he can extinguish at his own feet. But here they come. The flash is over. And snap. The trap. Wow. And now he can extinguish and live. Uh, so Kadian's all good. The jump away. I guess he wants to avoid some nades. The jump into it is the, the wrong option. Yeah, some questionable maneuvers there. You were right. He got away with it, but maybe he still did because Yabi with the follow-up kill maintains the advantage here at least. SS will be joined by Stown as well, so he'll take the aggro. Presumably oh. the trade comes in, but that is wonderful from Fang. He manages to get a lovely two-piece as we walk in towards the B bomb side. Three on two now. How has he pulled that one off? What these guys can produce in these type of situations has been pretty eye-opening the last couple of days, and Fang's probably on for a couple more here. Yabby's going to jiggle around the corner, and Fang, sharp as you like. Seven kills total, three in the round. And this is his round. The trading top mid, the space was provided, and the shots here in Banana, they, they were ready for that. That set up one towards the car, one on the sandbag. They were just clinical shots from Fang, and Shush has to save. Nothing can be done. And that was looking like another brutal crossfire from Heroic as well. They were established. It looked like it all made sense, but the first shot went against them, and then the swing around from Fang was just astonishing. So just Shush remaining, and I don't think there's much he can do about this one. The round will be going in favor of complexity. And they will be saving two players as well in a flashbang, but uh, they pulled that one back from the dead. It felt like after that interaction towards the arch side, maybe Kadian is regretting his decision to jump through the smoke after all. Yeah, I, I think he thought he was under more of a threat there, but likely he could have gotten away. And even if he couldn't have gotten away, he could have stalled out some more time and forced them to come to him for the fight. I understand he's quite worried, but let's watch this again. That's great. Oh, see ya. that is fantastic. On the fade of the smoke. He wasn't wow. set up at all for that. No one flashed him in. There was no utility used. That's just raw firepower. And uh, he certainly got a lot of it, making a name for himself here in the ESL Pro League. Aggression now from Heroic as Stown will actually be looking towards Banana. He's got full information that that's clear. They can maybe even push down here on the CT side and uh, see what's available to them. Does he need to get out of here, though? Yeah, this is such an awkward position for Stown to be in. Shush, they're coming your way, knocking on the door. One, it's going to be enough. The massive floodgate open. Kadian's nade is well-placed and well-timed, but he's blind during all of it. The nukes drop, but Kadian now needs to hit some shots. Bombs towards the pit, a defensive smoke as the cavalry is coming, and Yabby's here. They may have done enough heroic. Yeah, I really like that smoke from Kadian. That's a very wise and informed decision. But Grim, oh, he pushes through it. This is actually falling apart once again. Back to the two-on-two. -two. Plenty of time to work with. Grim just needs to stay alive now, if possible. Smoke about the fade. And two players residing within it. If he gets one kill, he'll set his teammate up. <laughs> Great shot. But the bomb is still down. But Fang, he has an opportunity here. Well, did they see it drop off the balcony, right? We, they might not we be saw aware. the shot from Katie in there and the bomb get launched, but there was flashes, there was smokes. I, I don't know if they'll know where the bomb is. 
Maybe, but they did see it go down at least when they got the kill. They would have seen it on the radar, but as to where it is, I couldn't tell you. Oh my God, did he get away with the it? The timing here is mental. Ah, oh, this is perfect. Yabby, well played. The timing working in his favor right there. Well, seven to six now. Heroic, it's a just, but they are in the lead. It, that, that was crazy though. Shush gets one. Fortunately, Kadian's nade, it landed on three players there as they were running. So the nade right. was great. That's when the bomb got dropped, right? And it's understandable if Kadian doesn't click in that moment, exactly where he saw it, as you mentioned, likely on the radar. But Fang and Grim, they make this interesting. They absolutely do. Kill towards T-steps and then Grim finding a fantastic shot towards that A bomb site. Kadian now starting to get fired up. He knows this is a big game now. And uh, we'll get right back into the action here. Yabby, not wasting any time, forcing the issue down towards Banana. And he's got players all around, and the spray doesn't connect, though. These aggressive maneuvers not working out for the CT. So much damage being inflicted by Stown. Looking to convert. Thankfully, he has the smoke screen to protect him. Maybe a boost in CT spawn required here. Both players in towards the CT area right now. Swapping weapons over. They'll hold tight. Kadian with the M4 wants to get a bit of intel here. And he's caught out. It's, it's that Kadian push again that's uh, letting them down. They just love the fight, Heroic. It's just all about the brawl. They, they like having the players in front of them. They don't want to be chasing their towels here. It's down. Yo. Yeah, that's all it was going to take. Shush, an extra man here. Make this the fourth individual to be over towards the B bomb site. Tessa is miles away. It's all on Shush. Back of the site, pinned in. Trying to buy themselves some time. But Hauzerk smokes and executes as Tessus has nade that could be the difference maker here. Well, up against it now. Fresh smoke down in CT here spawn. Where they're planning. A plant down towards the back of the bomb site there, trying to avoid the AT if possible. Incredibly low is Fang. And Tessus, no kits actually, Chad. But he has got an incendiary. Can throw that in. This lineup, I assume it goes towards Emo. Yeah, I haven't seen this one before. Okay, well, that's an easier one to throw than the... Line up. I don't know how deep that one is going to spread here, but Tessus, I don't think you've got a hope. Not a prayer here right now. He's going to make the Hail Mary attempt, but they can just toy with him. They can just take all the time they want. You said no kid. Is there one on the body of Shush around? Well, it's been tapped and it's gone down. A great round from Halzerk there. Two influential kills to get them across the line. And this was only a lighter investment there. So they it has a man advantage, Chad. And they, yeah. they still, like you said, they want to take the fights. They want to take the biffs, but... When you've got it like that, do you really need to be pushing Banana and just uh, going by yourself? That was the moment right there. There's no one to back him up, no one to trade. A nice position, sure. But then the Orp is down, mowed down by the Tech-9. Shush did a pretty good job to get a double kill, but Halzerk, as mentioned, opened things up. Bomb goes down, and it's a huge round as we go into number 15 here. It's absolutely destroyed the finances of Horovic. 7-7, seven, seven. they've got an Orp. A few deagles, sure, but uh, this one is looking a little bit messy. Get up there, Kadian. Uh, middle don't rest yeah. middle. Maybe get out. Don't get up. You've already lost this mid control completely. They smoke long and short, but Shush in the window room. Are they ready for this? Yes, Ooh. Grim. <laughs> Very aware. But this is how Heroic play. They're just the, they're the most reactive team in Counter Strike. Right. They're the, they're the guys you're playing with in matchmaking when you say flash B, and then before you know it, everybody's left the A site. Right. You, you haven't even called numbers. You're not even you haven't taken a look at damage yet. You just called a single flash, and they've already rotated quite heavily here. So Heroic down a man. JT around. on the lurks here. If he gets one kill, remember, he's just by himself. He's trying to sell the idea, the concept, that this will be an A take, and he might even get more than that. Finds a huge kill on the AWP, follows it up as well, and once again, JT, he might not have the most frags, but he's certainly delivering on all front. I say that, I think he actually does. They've all got like eight or nine kills right now, and that's the, that's the best you could probably ask for. Team effort from Team complexity effort. here. And Eight on the half is going to be great. The only issue right now is this deagle. And surely Stown isn't sure. going to clown on them here. Sure. He's going to have to go nuclear. That's the last frag found, and he can't get anything done whatsoever. Eight to get underway here with Heroic now on the attack. They've got a bucket load of utility to work with this, and as they spring into action, Nana is where they want to assemble a bit of a boost in case there is a push, and right. it's coming. It is coming real quick. This boost is perfectly placed, perfectly played. And sure should down the totem. They do combine and knock this one over. Like a bit of an anti-strat there, perhaps. Aware of the, the tendencies, perhaps, of complexity. But uh, you're right. A perfect setup has uh, granted them three kills so far. Five on two. Grim and Fang this time to try and stand and deliver. But this is one of the cleanest pistols we've seen so far. Yeah, might keep all five alive here. Nice little upgrades into head armor for cheap. For the likes of Yabby Tessus, if they're able to avoid any damage on that armor. But... Uh, 
even noting a kit. So this is Shush going, yeah, look, boys, we can deny him $400 if I just chill here. Good point. But uh, Grim will be hiding towards the quote-unquote new boxes. How long can we call them new boxes for? To the end of time. Yeah, they'll always just be brand new, shiny at the back. Oh, we used, what do we used to call it? Triple box? Yeah. Oh, hello. That's some money. That's some cash. That's a... Oh, he didn't save the armor. So uh, he could have had an extra thing or two. But uh, right now, we'll have to see if Complexity want to hustle up and go for the force. Roll CT's bringing the pistol. Well, the CT's have been rolled over right here. Looks like they want to bounce back in with a force by their own. This is nice from Yabby. And then uh, Kadian, he grabbed this one. He hightailed it up mid. Quite a stylish shot to Fang there. Deagles, 5-7, P9, and well, five smokes. That would be the key for me, the five smokes. This comes down to blocking the choke points and yeah. shepherding Heroic across the map. Running that clock down, you can see they're building a reservoir of utility in first orange is there. So that's their, their approach. How much have they taken down? I'm going to jump over and see what they've actually... One, two, three. I can see, I see three. And Hauzerk has one left in the pit. Okay, yeah, you're dead on. So just looking to hold them off as long as possible. If they head towards B, run the clock down. First smoke has been deployed. That's uh, mid control. Do they want to go with it though? That's the question. Cadian exploring his options. Getting so much room without any resistance. Not a jiggle, not a peep. Lavery smoked well-timed with the progression. Hit smoke from Halzerk, but he's trying to reposition here. That's a big shot. He's not bad, is he? Excellent eagle shot. That's all he can find, but uh, trying to suggest there was more presence than there was. Halzerk will go down eventually. There was the four-man lean towards the B-bomb site. Heroic seems to be very aware of it, and uh, that's the end of the round. It will be Heroic taking the lead. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't love uh, the way that Inferno plays out. There's a lot of saving on a map like this. There's also just jostling for control with utility. But uh, I think in terms of maps, Inferno has to be up there in terms of one of the, the most balanced maps, I would imagine. I love the options that are available for teams with the util or aim, pace changes. It's, it's got it all. I think uh, as much as I do detest Mirage, I'm attempting to come around on it. So uh, oh, yeah. I think that is also towards the top of the list. Absolutely. In terms of traditional Counter-Strike, and as we know and love it, I think you're right. Those two play out like how it should, and uh, it comes down to strategic maneuvers, executions, defaults, uh, set pieces, all that sort of thing. Um, so I do agree with you there. It's, it's a classic map, and it's always been the, the third map in those historic best of threes for good reason. Everyone plays it. Everyone knows how to operate on it. It always leads to very good games. All right. They get a double dip on this little investment here, so... I don't know if Halzerk wants to invest in a whole lot. The AWP for him should be coming out into the next, and nobody's going to gift him an upgrade of a P250. So it would just be sitting like a plum on the USP. But there's still worrying times ahead for Heroic. Oh, absolutely. They've uh, done well to win the pistol in the second follow-up round. But uh, every chance you could lose this one as well. It's another B set out, but only three players there this time. We have got Halzerk towards the boiler room, joined by Grim. Backing up, you can boost in this room and have a nice little stack and uh, can be quite difficult to clear out. Here's a flashback from JT getting ready to pounce towards the banana area. Grenades deployed and at least get some control here on the complexity side. Trying to funnel them in towards top of middle, but uh, will the stack lead to anything? That's the question. MP9, good position for it. Gets one, probably needs to bail out though. Pull the cord and yes, indeed, back towards the palm we go. All right, well upgraded into the AK there. So there's just a Mac 10 left on the ground and they can get past Floppy here at the base of Banana. Should do, right? Yeah, he... Shouldn't be a problem. Has a very good job, a very good weapon for the job, and maybe he has a very good job. He's in complexity playing professional Counter-Strike after all, but the 5-7 falters and going to scurry in towards B. The question is, uh, do you want to try and take away a couple more guns? Is damage or winning the round name of the game? Well, Fang wants to win. He grin on his face as he rounds the corner. It's going to be sent packing, and Shush gets another here. The flash did cover off. Oh. That's the bomb. So a slight issue in a two-on-one here against Grim. They should be fine. Coming through the smoke. They're running through the smoke. Grim almost able to correct. But this is the thing. You see that reaction there? They're just so quick. React, yeah. react, react. They don't fight, let you get fight, comfortable fight. with the situation, right? It's like before we can even think about your, your reposition, they're already through. They're like a six-year-old on sugar right now. They're just <laughs> bouncing off the walls. Well, this is how it all started. It was floppy. Maybe if he gets one, who knows? But it was always going to be checked. And uh, the bomb going down from Grim right at this moment, you think maybe he gets one. Makes it a bit uncomfortable, but you're right. They pounce on the opportunity. Shut it down. Double digits for Heroic. 
This is the pick of complexity, and now Zerk will be rattling off a shot towards the bottom of middle, but Tess is not wasting any time again. Just getting stuck in here. Stifling pace. Yeah. CTs now need to make a decision. Do we fall back? More defensive lines, maybe get towards the bomb side itself. How's Zerk for now? Patrolling this road, waiting for anyone to creep through. Ashman comes over, fires for the shot. They know exactly where he is now. Now they can smoke him off. This is great progression. The timing yeah. in which they've been able to do this is great. They're going to molly through towards the library position. Bang and Graveyard, Grim and Pier. It's a strong setup on A, but there's so much pressure they're under here. How's has been completely isolated from this. He is going to have to push through. I do like the graveyard position though, but Tessas has found himself behind enemy lines, but not before Alzo can somehow get a kill here. Can JT answer back? Apparently not. Good damage though. Four on three, one minute remaining. Fang, as mentioned, in towards that graveyard. I think the linchpin of this operation, if they do end up towards A, he needs to find multiple kills. Beatty and Grim as well. Yabby though, eating down from the apartment's position. Biding their time, not rushing into this one. Oh, he does get one at least. Grim left on his lonesome floppy so far removed. He enters the library right now, but uh, not like his days might be numbered. There's the first. Are they aware of Grim's position? They don't seem to be. This is so late on it. Apparently, they're very much out. Thanks for Yabby. Yeah. Give him a pay rise. That's a very important kill that he just found. So just pulling them apart right there. Oh, conversation's been had. Smiles on the faces as. Uh, and Acadian were conferring about something. Maybe it was that fight right there, not yeah. ready for Halzo to I didn't to think many through. people knew what was happening at that point. The fact Halzo even got a kill was quite surprising, but uh, as mentioned, Fang had to find a couple. He got one, nice shot, uh, but uh, nothing he could do with the presence from the apartments there. Big, big round for Heroic to take, and uh, we're left with a partial by situation. Floppy with the MP9. Elsewhere, you'll see pistols and a three-man stack towards the top of mid. Shush and Co. just spamming off towards the apartments. Can be a little bit overwhelming if you're trying to get an aggressive stance like we saw in the previous game. But uh, it's actually a four-man stack top of middle for the CTs here. Floppy with the firepower towards B. Yeah. If they go in towards B, it's it likely it's all over. It will, because they're ahead of his util set here. Yeah. Good nade as well. Yeah, he's in a lot of strife. Stance very aware of that position and just takes it down. So waltzing on in. It was just unfortunate timing there for Floppy. His half wall smoke landed and they were already ahead of it. They right. didn't feel the need to respect it. And now Cadian using the elevation of the first orange boxes to find the kill on Grim. And it's probably better just to hold on to what you have. It's very little, sure, but it's better than nothing. Uh, Halzo doing a bit of a moonwalk right now. He, he can't find the weapon. And now he has no weapon. Well, there we go. There we go. Okay. This is. Uh, Four round lead for Heroic now. It's feeling a little bit comfy here on the T side. It is, you're, you're dead on there. That's gonna be, what, five rounds in a row at this stage? As uh, they are, you're, you're absolutely right. They, they've looked like a different team. It's not quite as chaotic. Complexity aren't able to control the pace so far. They're the ones who are often on the back foot, often with just pistols. But uh, a full gun round coming up next. We'll see if they can justify the Hauser AWP. You'd like to see it, right? They've got $7,000 on him. We want to see him become activated, see whether he can actually start dictating the pace and start challenging Kadian, who's had way too much fun. Run boost here. You're right. Alzo Airlines. It's a safe landing. No passengers were hurt. So, just getting back into a more default setup here after the run boost attempt. Alzo back towards Arch. We'll probably tag out with Fang. Only waits towards Cubby, but uh, JT and Grim join the A bomb side, leaving Floppy alone, who's got smoke and a flash, but only M4. He's very strong in those sort of positions. Just gonna go find a couple of flashbangs. They know we're in T spawn. I think that's great. But I know it takes a bit of extra time, but uh, extra flashes now to help initiate. Sure. And Fang's gonna call mid clear. Now, is that bad info? Oh, B. His flashes now. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> I thought once was enough. Twice is a little bit excessive here. Tessus is popping up his chest. He's dodged the flash. This is very well done. Timing for him working out nicely. And still no rotation back towards the B-bomb site here. They haven't started to cheat over. It's Floppy, the lone defender, and they are coming. Alzok is on his way. He has the AWP, of course, but the smoke towards CT spawn will nullify his position. He's aware of it, trying to back him up with anything he can. The little utility, he's throwing it in. Up to Floppy, remember. 
Needs to try and find something with this. Shush lead the charge now. Taking a lot of damage wow. from Spawn. That's going to be Fang. Blind as well. Clean headshot. Floppy with another dink of his own. And Hauser is firing off pop shots. Is that the bomb? Yeah, running yeah. all the way back right now. See you later. Perfectly timed. Perfectly really called. Cool. Kaden's just going to waltz in here. Yeah. They haven't identified as not B yet. They're going to have to flush out Yabby if they want to identify that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, the bomb goes down and ah, we're in the wrong place. Can they even confirm? They don't even know. No, well, they should hear the bomb ticking. They, someone they're should still go, playing like they're coming for a kill. Here. Okay, now they're aware of it. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, that's going to be the end of it. And uh, Yabby can't believe his luck. He's got players Making all around him. Making noise in sight, Henry. They don't know he's here. They don't know he's here. Yeah. Yabby's confirming all of this. If he swings out, he can take down Grim. That's a huge <laughs> shot. That's the AWP gone. And the chase is coming. Tested through spawn. Cadian's over banana. A flash forward. The fight is here. Cole might lose it all. Overlooking Yabby's position might come back to bite them in a big way. Tessus takes down JT. They're not going to carry anything through to the next round of play unless Fang can hold on. Well, I don't think he can. Push back and a perfect finish there for Heroic. Salt in the wounds of complexity after getting completely bamboozled by the rotation of Cadian. What a lovely play that was. They had no idea what the bomb was down. It was such a convincing play towards B. They even keep a player over there, and this is such a nice little sequence from Yabby. Making light work of the situation, and Fang trying to stay alive. They leave the round with nothing. And yeah, that uh, one sucks. They're still yet to post a single CT round here on Inferno. 13-8 down after a solid performance in the first half. It has to be said, they won it on their T side. They were up 8-7. Yeah, and yet to get around. They were just waltzing around that B-bomb side there when Yabby was in pool, just making so much noise. That's a dream for Yabby. It's like, yeah, I can yeah. hear them. I can tell you exactly where they are. All three are here. I'm going to pre-fire one towards Coffins, and then we can isolate them together. Tidy stuff. Well, a few smokes again. That's the highlight here for complexity. True. Now if they can win one of these rounds, amazing. There's every chance they can do so. This is uh, getting a bit of fun now. You see that a lot on the CT side, just to know. It just uh, doesn't really make too much sense on the T side, but I Rarely guess... Rarely go back to spawn. Yeah, but I guess this kind of does, and you're slowing it right down. You decide, lads, I I've done it. There's all the utility you could ask for now. Out of T spawn, it's actually a T steps, and it's going to juggle a dog. I was about to say, like, has anyone become really masterful at juggling the utility like that and trying to, like, transport three or four flashes at once? It's pretty clunky, but there's definitely people who... Yeah, this yeah, is what I'm talking exactly about. This. I haven't seen anyone do this before. Like, I, I assumed it was possible, but uh, I wasn't sure to what effect. Yeah, we've seen teams do it a little bit more on the CT side where they juggle you two from spawn to B, but th this is this right here is, Next level. is heroic showing that uh, they're in the driver's seat of this map right now. So they can try and sell a full B fake with all this excess utility here. It's down again, wants to be a nuisance. He's already caused Floppy some grief, and oh, this time around Floppy will strike. Kadian draws one back. The time is the biggest issue now. Tessus needs this clean, and he's seen the elbow, but can't connect. Grim, his 5-7 has done work. We go. A chance now. This is the all-important frag. Bang comes out on top. What a shot that is. Close range. With that Desert Eagle. Flashbang comes out. This actually could work out very nicely. I said there was a chance he can win these sort of rounds. Wow. Time is of the essence. He gets the kill. He might be able to plant it. They'll swarm him now. They can sacrifice at least one player. And there it is. Complexity post there first. They do <laughs> a lot with a little and even a bit of a teabag at the end there, Chad. No, it's just making sure his crouch key is working correctly. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, no, okay. it just got stuck there on top of Cadian's body and, and he was just having <laughs> a test to make sure well, that makes more sense. Working I, I suppose you're right. Hey! The Zerg giving him a bit back. I guess if you're going to dish it out, Chad, you have to be able to take it back. That's very true. Oh, and ahead of this, they played forward of the Molly here. So it's going to have to be braving the flames on the bounce back. Colt. They tested the waters of Deep Banana and they've seen enough. Fang looking for anything he can over the top of that arch smoke. I'm just thinking in the universe now where Heroic give this map up and they can just type, <laughs> guys, press tab straight yeah, off the end and kills so them off the face of the planet. I kind of like this. An evil part of me that kind of hopes that happens will kind of follow that thread. Now the band has started on the, the server itself. You don't see that too often. No, it is great. It is really good. Yeah. So uh, no opening kills so far, but uh, things suddenly getting a bit spicy. As we're in round number 23, five man attack from Heroic towards B. And in terms of the situation, it's floppy alone once again, but Fang. Incredibly strong rifle up, makes his way over as well. Smoking towards the top of Banana. Just to buy some time here. And they'll have to respect it. I, I say that, Tessus doesn't seem to. They want to explode here. They're going to play in this and go with the flash. 
So a sight flash would be perfect in this situation. A CT smoke to follow. There's the flash. And that's going to be the go. They're running in. Bang completely wide screened. And Tessus will get the opening kill. Floppy now has to defend. He has to try and buy time. Stuck between his own smoke, his own design. And Shush is going to flush him out. The rotation is here. But do they really want to test the waters? Do they really want to try this B bomb site? If one of those shots connected, I would say yes. But uh, now already missing out, Hauser will have to retreat, I would say. 14 to 9, they, they can't justify it. They don't have enough to work with. Four flashes and a very clean entry from Heroic. All right, now what we need is a camera shot down the line of Heroic as soon as the penny drops that Complexity are saving. I want to see if I'll yeah, try to read Danish <laughs> They'll be lips. screaming now. They've got Cadian all fired up. He'll be sending it right back. And uh, that's a nice clean round there, you have to say. And uh, the fortunate problem is they've got Floppy there alone. And it seems that they're always scrambling to get a player back. They're never comfortable. They're never prepared. They're taking the bait hook, line, and sinker towards the top and middle every single time. And uh, Floppy only able to get one frag. Bang with nothing. Halzerk with the spam through the smoke doesn't connect. And it's a very, very, very clean round for Heroic. Yeah. I, I, it's subdued over there, though. Yeah, surprisingly. I thought they uh, maybe they'll wait till they get the victory under the belt here before they unleash the Fury. Uh, in your, your remit is going to be a, a, a huge benefit, as we'll see uh, an attack towards Banana this time, as Heroic with the AWP, lots of flames and nades all around them. Big damage inflicted on either side there, Complexity taking a ton of it as well. Sound, opportunity, but Floppy will strike from the corner, playing anti-flash there, and they've got the opening pick finally. They've only posted uh, one round so far in the CT campaign, giving up seven elsewhere. Oh, this is where it could go wrong with Yabby's very forward position, and we're back up to these silly hijinks here of Kadian just hanging out in spawn. We get it. You've got lots of money. You've got lots of nades. Form the human chain here. Working together, we can transport all the utility elsewhere. But uh... if they try this again, Harry, if they go and fake B and then try and go back towards A, it didn't work so well for them previously. That's where Kadian got caught off guard, remember? So True. That's where Halzerk uh, found his voice. Tassess. Looking to find a couple more kills there. Great showing from him so far. Alzerk as well, a strong player, but uh, a missed shot. Floppy though, this time towards the arch side. Only good for one. Back to a three on three as Grim doesn't quite catch him as they wrap around towards the bomb side here. He's got a lot on his plate to deal with. Bomb though is in front of him, but uh, will they overstep the mark? He absolutely will. Now he's got a good chance. Three on two in favor of complexity. Grim needs some backup though. Not gonna get it. Cadian, really nice work. Just JT remaining, one versus one. 15 seconds remaining, Abby knows exactly where he is. It lacks there from Cadian after that second kill. He's put all the pressure on Yabby, the newest addition to the team. It's JT, the in-game leader of complexity. Hit some bangers from this position on the T side, but can't get it done on the CT. And uh, that is gonna be 15 secure. Just one more round now. And it's quite a team effort if we just take a quick look at uh, the scoreboard right now for that of Heroic. Shush and Kadian with 19 apiece. Tessa's with 18, 17 for that of Yabby and Stown, normally the star player of the team. Well, he's only got 13. He's not required to go nuclear right now. On the other side, it's also a team effort, but not with as many numbers. 15 for Grim, 13 for the trifecta of Halzok, Floppy, and Fang, and then JT with 12 to his name. But this is where they need to step up, or they'll be suffering this map loss. It's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Lexity currently 2 and 0 in the group. And that pick of Inferno is slipping by the wayside. They have to start looking assertive, confident, as Halzerk taking matters into his own hands. The player we'd expect to be nailing that sort of shot, to be honest with you. He does connect, but uh, unfortunately will go down. It's the follow up AG grenades. There's now. This could be another open B bomb site. Floppy's been caught in some rough positions now. If they just flash and explode again, like Floppy, you, I understand why you play behind the smoke. You're the only guy here. You want to mow them in right. as they come through the gray screen. But a lot of these teams are doing this pop and go, especially a unit like Heroic. But the fact that Stown has this top banana control, they're just going to park him here. The top fight, mid, top mid fight from JT is uh, just going to be the nail in the coffin here, I think. You'd happily just pivot back towards B now. You know they just played for info over towards A. It's likely teams will play like a 1-2 split with one player at B, two over towards A. Or at least someone in limbo on arch side. You're going to have to account for that somehow. Well, this was a very exciting first half. Things done to cool off now. As Heroic fully in the driving seat. It's up to Floppy once again to defend the B-bomb side. So much pressure. They're still 
he can really do about it and what an overwhelming position the fade away shot as he drops down from the bedroom tucks bang in and floppy well he's got a chance there not much of a chance jad but uh, he'll certainly give it a good go we'll see what he can make of it 72 hp no kids still has that flashbang doesn't decide to deploy it just yet but now we have it it will be a six